Coach Jordan, uh, looks like you got a good workout in there coaching that that duel. You got a, you're sweating pretty good. Yep. All right, 24-24 going into the final match. I mean, just nip, tuck, duel. First off, how huge are the Moore brothers with two falls? Well, you know, after we lost at 106, we were we were favored a little bit there. I go back in the locker room, and, and both Moore brothers had did not have like a national prep champ or something like that. I said, we have to get pins. I said, I can't settle even for a major or a tech. We have to pin because I knew we were in the hole. It was our only chance. And uh, they both go out and just impose their will and got two pins. And uh, I told... Uh, I told Joey Sanchez, a little 52 pounder, first year he's in the starting lineup. I told him, I said, tonight, tonight you can be a hero. And I said, you've always wanted this to come down. Every little wrestler growing up wants to be a hero. I said, tonight it's going to come down to you. And sure enough, it came down to Joe. I said, we're going to beat the head. We're going to get the guy tired, and we're going to take him down. And you know what? Joey Sanchez is the hero tonight. Did you lose a team point with Stickley? Yeah. Um, I don't know. I'll, I'll know what happened. Justin said the guy said something to him and shoved him. He said something back, and we lost the team point. So uh, we'll deal with that tomorrow with sprints. Was that something where you were just like, oh, my goodness, if we uh, lose this thing I, by a team point? If we lose by a point, you know, it's going to on him the rest of his life. Looking at that duel, you know, even how you started out, 160, did you and Coach Antonelli agree on 160? No, he pulled the pill. I, that's one of the last places I wanted to start, but you know what? Garrett Jordan wrestled Caroli really good. You know, he was a Fargo national champ, and then the, the big the big turn in the dual meet was I, I cut my 95 to 82, and uh, he won an 82, and then uh, we only gave up a major at 95, but the big win was 220. Johnny Schaefer, my little freshman, beat one of the big guns at 220. It was a huge, huge win for us. Then we turn around and Blair got a win off us at 106, so it kind of equaled that out. But uh, you know what? It was a great team effort. And I, my, my heavyweight first year wrestler, I just said you can't get pinned. And you know what? You saved us a team point that way. So little things like that were, were huge tonight. Talking to Antonelli, he said it was going to be 7-7 split. Before we, you know, the duel began, I, I got an opportunity to talk to him. He also said this is going to come down to bonus points. Was he right? He was right, and I knew that the Moore brothers that they had to do it, you know. And, and look, look at uh, look at Marinelli, you know. Bull is our captain, and you know what? Ranked number one or two in the country, he had Delavia, who's ranked in the top five, or was in the top five, and Marinelli gets a major off him. So little things like that were, were, were crucial. Rocky Jordan coming out in that match. What'd you say to Rocky? Obviously, that's you know, there's two matches left on the on the, Rocky, on the mat. Yep, Rock beat the guy eight to six at the Ironman, so I knew it was going to be a tight match. We had to get a takedown to turn. Rock got that. And I just think with all the emotion, the later weight class, I walk out, Rocky had a bloody lip, I walk out and he says, Dad, I'm shot. And it's like, well, you know what? You got 33 more seconds to, to man up. You know? I think a lot of people left you guys for dead after your Iron Man. I, I yep. certainly did not, but I think a lot of people I did. I think you did, Seb. <laughs> I don't think that's true. But, uh, you know, I think a lot of people did. You know, what does this do yeah, for you, you guys? Know what? Iron Man, we just didn't have a great tournament. We lost a bunch of one-point matches, so it's back to the drawing board. we uh, we got to get back to beating the head. What, what, what makes Graham win, uh, you know, 15 straight state titles is the old-fashioned way. You go in, you grab the guy, you move him, you get him tired, and you hit a single leg. And we kind of got away from that, and we want to stay in a distance. We don't have the great athletes to win staying from a distance. So it's just back to basics, you know. So we really trained hard for this dual meet. And two weeks from now, we got St. Ed's. And I know one thing, St. Ed's is really tough. It's going to be a great duel up there. Three things you chained for. Iron Man, Blair, St. Ed's. And then the state tournament. Those state tournament. Four things. Four things. Yeah, those four things we trained for. Has anything changed? But the three most important are state tournament, St. Ed's, and Blair. Those are the top three. All right, Coach, you got anything else for me? No, you're looking good, Zeb. You're looking good, my friend. Hey, thank you for the time. Great win, Coach. Thanks.